Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sin Blackblade and I am so excited. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! For the re uh, revamped Herophant that GGG made. Uh, the, the, the changes that they made to this uh, Ascendancy class is just absolutely insane. And I was able to uh, sleep last night when I finally was able to watch this. I know I'm, uh, I'm kind of late. Uh, I'm kind of late on this news, but still, it got me so excited. Uh, I, I was just thinking of so uh, many to different totem builds uh, that may or may not work. I don't exactly know, but uh, let's get into the uh, Ascendancy skill notes one by one. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the Illuminated Devotion. We get a 25% uh, increased area of effect while we have Arcane Surge. So, the moment I, I saw that, I was thinking about, hmm, uh, Spell Totem Ball Lightning, maybe? Because uh, that's going to be great. Uh, next, we get that 0.5% uh, of... of uh, uh, 0.5% of our spell damage leached as life while we have Arcane Surge. Now this got me thinking, uh, will the life leech work only for the totems? Because we can also self-cast, right? Uh, we can probably um, uh, curse on hit while using uh, arc, you know. Um, do we get the uh, life leech only from that arc? Or when the totems, uh, when the spell totems uh, cast the spell, I mean, do we leech our lives through them? Or maybe it's just uh, the, the, the life they leech is only for them. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. And then uh, finally, we get that 20% increased spell damage while we have Arcane Surge. So that's going to be great. That's going to increase the uh, damage of our, uh, of our spell totem. The next, the next thing that we're going to uh, talk about is the Arcane Reverence. Uh, the Arcane Reverence, uh, uh, we gain, basically we gain an Arcane Surge when our uh, totems hit an, en uh, an enemy with uh, with a spell. So it needs to be a spell. Uh, if we're, I, I was actually uh, thinking last night of uh, something like a bow build probably because that's like four totems. GG is giving us, uh, what I mean is the Hierophant is giving us four free totems with no negative setbacks. Because before, uh, we, could, we, could, uh, we could basically summon four, but, we could, uh, but there's a, a, a decrease in, in, in damage, I think. Uh, and when you have four, that's like 20, uh, 7%. We have four, so that's 28% uh, uh, reduced damage, I guess. So nobody really wanted it. Uh, quite frankly, I haven't actually played it yet. Because, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really like the idea of, you know, uh, lowering the numbers of my damage. But, yeah, uh, and then we get that immunity to elemental ail ailments while we have Arcane Surge. So the synergy is quite well. Uh, it, it's going to be uh, just absolutely crazy amazing. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the uh, Conviction of Power. Uh, let's, le let's read through... Uh, to that 25% uh, chance to gain an endurance charge uh, when you gain a power charge and we get that 50% chance to gain a power charge when we place a totem. So again, this is going to be a good synergy. I'm actually split between this and uh, the the Arcane Reverence or going through uh, Illuminated Devotion. So I'm kind of split uh, whether I'm going to go over that path or just basically get the Conviction of Power instead. Uh, we get a 50% chance to gain a power charge if our totems uh, kill an enemy. So that's going to be easy. There's a lot of ways to gain that power charge and uh, basically go with a crit spell totem build. It's going to be easy. Uh, we get a 5% reduced elemental damage taken when we have an endurance charge. Uh, and then we get that uh, damage penetration to 5% uh, uh, elemental resistance while we have a power charge. So yeah, uh, this is also going to be a good path uh, in my opinion. So it's either going to be conviction of power or end illuminated devotion. But of course, uh, when you're going with a totem build, you want four totems. So uh, the first uh, two ascendancy skill notes that uh, you or maybe uh, I will absolutely t take is the uh, pursuit of faith and the ritual of uh, ritual of awakening. So the pursuit of faith uh, gives us uh, gives us a hundred percent increased totem duration. Uh, we can have an additional one totem summoned at a time. We get a six percent increased damage per enemy killed uh, by our totems uh, recently. Recently refers to uh, four seconds, the past few four seconds. Uh, we get a ten percent increased attacks. Uh, attack and cast speed while we have a totem. So with that, we gain three uh, three totems. And then if we do get the uh, Ritual of the Awakening, again, another one free totem. And then 
to get that 50% increased totem uh, placement speed. So uh, placing totems will be much easier, you know, get all four uh, in a row or, or however you want to put it. And then, of course, we get that uh, uh, we, re we regenerate 0.5% uh, of mana per, uh, per totem. And then uh, uh, you and your totems regenerate 1% of uh, life per second per totem so if we have four that's four percent uh uh life regeneration if you uh if you if you have a tokohomas uh sanctuary or uh what no that's actually tokohomas uh fortress shield that's an additional totem so that's five and then if you have a six lick soul mantle that's six totems six percent increase uh life regeneration oh my god it, this is probably going to be the next meta on the uh release of uh bestiary it's absolutely crazy and one of the builds that I was, uh, or people are uh, people are talking about is uh, the the comeback of the spork build. Basically, it's spark uh, plus fork. So yeah, that's going to be good. But in my opinion, I think what I'm going to do, I want to uh, take advantage of the 25% increase. Um, what was it? Where was it? Hold on. Uh, 25. Uh, percent increase area of effect when we have uh, arcane arcane surge so the, the first thought that uh, that came to mind to me was actually a ball lightning i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to add a gmp or lmp in it because uh, you basically when you add gmp and lmp uh the the damage decreases so i don't want any decreases plus uh just one ball lightning is already enough and that's going to cast and you already have like four if you have two kahamas that's five and you have the the uh, soul mantle that's six so uh basically you'll be covering uh almost the entirety of the map so gmp and lmp won't be uh won't be on the menu uh, one of the builds that that, that i was also uh, thinking about uh was the uh, uh glacial cascade maybe uh because that has an aoe and that has uh you know we could add some conk effect in that uh, that's going to basically uh add more damage into the uh, spell which you know uh which is uh, which is huge and another spell that, that i was thinking was maybe uh arctic breath you know, uh, because that, that has an AOE and you could probably add a, uh, a GMP in it so that or, or LMP probably because uh, GMP reduces the damage just so significantly. So LMP might be the uh, next best thing. And yeah, and, and you have four, even though if you don't have Tokohomas, I mean, four is, is already absolutely insane, right? And I was also thinking about, um, what was it, the, uh, the Assessor Warchief? But uh, the, the debate is uh, which would be far stronger. I mean, uh, you have like four totems versus the Berserker, uh, which, in, uh, which adds 40% more damage. But then you can, you can only have like two totems. And uh, Tukuha, uh, Tukuhama's uh, uh, shield is actually quite expensive. But with only two on the Marauder side, uh, basically you could uh, clear maps really, really fast and really, really efficiently. So you, you're having four with the Herophant. I mean, how does the uh, how does the damage scale up to that? Uh, will the Herophant uh, do more damage versus the only uh, two that the uh, that the Berserker could uh, potentially you know uh, poten potentially summon without the Tokoma Shield because Tokoma Shield is uh, absolutely expensive. And then of course uh, the next the next thing that I was actually thinking was a barrage uh, totem build. So you have like four totems, and then basically you would go from your, uh, the the uh, the Templar skill tree uh, downwards to where the bow is, uh, towards the um, uh, towards the uh, ranger skill tree because that's where the uh, powerful bow uh, nodes are. And uh, yeah, but uh, the thing is, will it be? Uh, will it be viable or would it be better if you just go with a ranger or a dead eye build instead because uh, the, de the, the dead eye uh, 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 ascendancy uh, really specializes in in, uh, in in post so she would, could probably add more damage into it but then you're having four here four plus if you have that uh, quiver which adds one more you get and that, that's extremely cheap uh, you get five uh, you get five totems so yeah uh, I've been thinking about that uh, when it comes to the bow uh, uh, again let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think or would it be better to just go with a ranger uh, build instead 
So the next change is the Divine Guidance. Uh, adds 150 uh, to our maximum mana. We get 10% 10, 10 uh, damage taken as mana before life. So this is going through a much more defensive part of, uh, of the Hierophant. And finally, we have... Hold on. Finally, we have the uh, Sanctuary of Thought. 50% uh, reduced mana, mana cost of skills. 50% uh, reduced mana cost of skills while on full energy, uh, energy shield. Uh, gain 30% of maximum mana as maximum energy shield. And 10% less mana reservation. So, the Sanctuary of Thought and the... Uh, the divine guidance is uh, basically more on the defensive part of the of the uh, ascendancy, ascendancy skill tree, which nobody would probably take. I mean, uh, you, you'd wanna you'd wanna take advantage of those four uh, spell totems, and this is just so excited. I'm, I'm so excited for the uh, for the next uh, you know uh, league uh, or, or uh, yeah the release of the best cherry in a couple of days from now. So again, uh, let me know what you guys think about the uh, hierophant in the comment section down below. Uh, Particularly, what do you think would work and what do you guys think would not work? Spe speci specifically on the bow part because, yeah, I've been thinking uh, of creating a barrage, uh, a barrage build out of this. Uh, basically having like five totems with just fire barrage it just it, it would look absolutely insane so that's about it for this episode guys again let me know what you guys think about the ascendancy class in the comment section down below and thank you all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the content don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always i'm gonna see you guys on the next one my video have a good one